The sight of a black funnel cloud barreling toward New Orleans there it goes. prompted gasps and cries. There it is. You can see it. Get to your safe place. A monstrous twister leaving fractured neighborhoods in its wake. This is it. This is 1934 Road. This is what's left of it. Oh, yeah, you can't go in there. This is Taryn Baker's once beautiful home, which she spent years saving to buy. It's unlivable. You have to basically start all over. I see a tear streaming down your face. Yes. How devastating has the last one I mean, it's very, it's very devastating when you, you know, like it's all your hard work is just going up in the air. Now, Baker's friends help her gather what clothes and items they can and load them onto a truck. In one sense, New Orleans was fortunate. The terror streaking over the Mississippi River only causing one confirmed fatality and a handful of injuries. In what preliminary survey show was at least an EF3. And when you see the path of this tornado, that is an absolute miracle. On the other, a region historically pummeled from hurricanes Katrina, Zeta, and Ida just took another blow, even if on a more micro scale. And I've been through Katrina, but this was this was way, way worse because everything was level. The whole neighborhood was level. An area trying to bury that trauma is a particularly resilient bunch, ready to bounce back again. This is, I mean, your this, life, right? Yeah, this is, this is my life right here, out of a bag. This is it. Sam Brock, NBC News, Araby, Louisiana.